So what does CLI stand for? That's the Container Network Interface, and it's sort of an API. Why do I say sort of? Because usually when we talk about API, we're thinking about, oh, we have a server and we have a client that connects and makes requests. Here, the API is using program execution. Uh, I don't know if you are old enough to remember CGI back in the very early days on, of the web, like when you would hit a specific um, address on a server and that would execute a program on the server side and the program would spit out uh, HTML. Well, CNI is a little bit like that in a way, uh, in the sense that when um, when Kubernetes or something else you know, needs to set up the network on a container, it's going to call a CNI plugin and to call it like execute the CNI plugin. The CNI plugin is a program and Kubelet, for instance, is going to execute that program, uh, passing all the parameters through environment variables, passing a CNI configuration on the input, um, and then the CNI plugin will do the work and speed out some JSON on the output to say, yay, I've set up the network for this container. This is the IP address and whatever other information that you might need uh, to, uh, to, to do the work. Um, to give you an idea, um, so, most Kubernetes clusters are using CNI. Uh, again, you know, it's one of these uh, maybe 90 or 99 percent thing. Like it's going to be the default for almost every Kubernetes cluster out there. But technically, you can also not use CNI if you don't want to, but it's going to make your life way more complicated. Um, and one little point of detail here is that on some clusters, Kubelet, so you know, Kubelet is that Kubernetes agent that runs on every node. Kubelet is going to, to, to be the one um, invoking the CNI plugins. And on some clusters, uh, Kubelet is going to actually um, stop containers with, you know, container D or cryo or something like that. And container D or cryo or something like that is going to be the one invoking these plugins. But at the end of the day, directly or indirectly, um, you know, CNI plugins get called when we start containers. Uh, something that's pretty interesting is that Docker is pretty much the only component in the whole cloud native and container ecosystem that doesn't really leverage CNI. In fact, when you use Docker as your underlying engine on Kubernetes, um, the whole network stack is kind of you know, disabled. Um, uh, Kubernetes is going to stop the containers with Docker, but it's going to tell Docker, don't deal about the network, I'm going to do it myself. Um, and that's one of the reasons why, you know, there is a uh, there, there is a trend to replace Docker with sim simpler engines, uh, because at the end of the day, when you look at it, we're like, okay, we have the Docker engine and it has all these features, but when you use it in Kubernetes, we end up only using, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20% of these features. So maybe we could use a simpler engine. But anyway, um, now, I'm, you know, this is going to be the prescriptivist minute. <laughs> what I mean here is that, uh, you know, very often when we talk with other infrastructure folks and folks working with Kubernetes in general, uh, we can ask questions like, hey, um, what, what is the CNI plugin that you're using? And here I'm going to be, you know, like this annoying guy being like, well, actually we shouldn't say which CNI plugin are you using, but the, the good question to ask would be rather be like, what is the pod network that you are using? Because the CNI plugin is just one component, one ingredient of the pod network. And very often the real question that we want to know is what's the network that you are using. Uh, and that little distinction is often kind of pointless. You know, to be fair, if, for instance, if I ask someone, hey, okay, so on your Kubernetes cluster, uh, what CNI plugin are you using? And if they tell me weave, like, okay, great, we, we understand each other. Now, um, if they use Kube Router, for instance, uh, they could say, I'm using Kube Router. But the little nuance here is that Kube Router is actually not a CNI plugin. Kube Router is a pod network implementation, but it relies on um, other CNI plugins. And at first, that can feel a little bit weird. Like, what's the what's the difference? Uh, and so I have a 
maybe not so good uh, metaphor about this, um, but it's a uh, uh, you know, one um, a big difference between uh, European and U.S. homes is that in Europe it's pretty common to have some concrete walls in some places, and they require some really special like uh, uh, drills and um, yeah, drills basically. Um, and so, for instance, if you, I'm just going to take a random example that absolutely did not happen to me, right? Uh, if you go to some uh, US centered website like the wire cutter or you know, something like that, like these review websites that tells you what's the, the thing you should buy, and you're like, okay, I need to buy a drill. And they tell you, okay, this is the best drill that you can get for that amount of money, get that. So you get that drill, and then you try to drill a hole in your wall in Europe. And and the drill doesn't even scratch it. And you're like, what's going on here? Well, because that's concrete and you need like special drills and special bits, etc. So what's the point? Like what's the, um, what's the link with this whole CNI and pod network thing? You know, it's a little bit as if the real question we wanted to ask is, hey, are your walls made of wood or concrete, for instance? But instead we were asking, what kind of drills do you have at home? Do you have like, you know, the normal drills and bits or do you have one of these hammer drills with the carbide whatever bits and depending on the answer to that question I can understand okay you have concrete or you have wood or do you have this and that but it's a kind of indirect way of asking so same thing here when we ask which CNI plugin are you using we understand what we mean but really the real question the real interesting part is what's the pod network mm -hmm.